it's Amanda and I just wanted to do a video about um, how we are cloth diapering our one month old and this will probably be the system that we use until she's three or four months old and then we'll move on to like our main cloth diapering system that lasts through you know potty training but this is what we have in between the newborn phase and that main phase so I uh, just wanted to show you what we've got here so I inherited these, they're Thirsties brand covers and they are the extra small size. I inherited these from my cousin, they're hand-me-downs and they're perfect for the in-between because they're smaller than the smallest setting on my regular covers. So they're great for in-between. And um, the main thing we are using are pre-folds and these are the, the cloth ease uh, pre-fold diapers with the yellow edge and you get them off the Green Mountain Diapers website and um, so these are pre-folds are the main diapers that we use in general. Little Sophie is now five weeks old almost six weeks so she is now big enough for us to use these pre-folds so I'm really excited we're done with the disposable the newborn disposable phase and we are full-on cloth diapering her now I'm very excited. So let me show you um, how we do that. Here we have little Sophie all right, so I'm gonna show you four different ways that you can use a pre-fold. So the, the first three ways involve using a snappy, which is like a modern diaper pin, basically. Um, I mean, you can still use diaper pins, but they're not as common anymore. This is just a little like rubber thing with grips on it, and it holds the diaper on the baby. It fastens it to the baby, and it's really easy to use. So the standard way of using a pre-fold is to just tuck in these sides into the middle and then pull it up and then pull the ends over and then you take your snappy and it just grips onto the diaper real easy like that and there it is on the baby the second way to use I actually don't use it very much but it works for girls since they wet more on the bottom instead of the front but you take your pre-fold and you actually twist it like this. So that's in the crotch area and then you pull it up and pull your ends over and do your snappy as usual. So that's the second way to do it. And the third way to do it is the way we use most commonly because it's the most effective way at keeping in that like breast milk newborn poo, especially those explosive ones. Um, and um, this is our favorite way to do it. So what you do is you roll in the edges in the middle, just like that, and then pull it up and do like you did with the others and just pull the ends over. And then use your snappy, as usual. That's our favorite way to use a pre-fold because it contains things so effectively and it even contains things so well that it usually poo doesn't even get on your covers then. So um, yeah, so when you fasten a pre-fold onto a baby like this, then you have to have a waterproof cover to put over it. And so, like I mentioned, we have the Thirsties brand, um, the extra small size right now since she's a month old. And you just, Put it over the pre-fold and make sure one tip I would definitely emphasize is to make sure that all of the edges are tucked in to the elastic otherwise you will get leaks but as long as everything is tucked in it will effectively keep everything contained and these are the hook and loop closures or the velcro which is not my favorite I'm actually I actually prefer snaps, but these were inherited and they work so, and we just use them for such a short time. So anyway, so there is how you use um, a pre-fold when you fasten it to the baby. And then I just wanted to show you one last way, the fourth way, which is without using the snappy. You take your pre-fold and you, these are tri-folds pre-folds, they're called tri-folds because they have these seams right here um, and you just fold them right on those seams 
and then you tuck it in to your cover. Since it actually is too long for this cover, you can just kind of tuck it down like that in the back or in the front, either way. And that's a way to put the diaper on the baby without needing a snappy. And then you just pull it up and put it on. So that's definitely the easiest way to do it. Um, but it definitely doesn't contain things quite as well, I've found in my own experience. And um, when you do it that way, you often get poop on the cover then too. And then you can't reuse the cover quite as often as if you use a snappy. So that's just been my experience. All right, so the last thing I wanted to mention is for overnight, usually just one diaper isn't enough. If you have a baby that's starting to sleep through the night, um, like she's she will do like her longest stretch has been a, a seven hour stretch now so if she's going to be in a diaper for seven hours um you know you need one that's going to be really absorbent and usually just one pre-fold by itself isn't going to be quite enough so um what we have are doublers and you can order these on green mountain diapers that's my favorite place to order them um this one i actually got as a gift it's a microfiber one um with the fleece on top and this one is a hemp doubler which is extremely absorbent I really like these and it has the um, fleece on top which is what they call the stay dry um, so all you have to do is just add one of these doublers into your cover with your pre-fold and that makes it nice and um, absorbent for the night so you just tuck that into your cover as an extra and continue your diapering as usual Anyway, so there's four ways to use a pre-fold and our system for diapering our one month old and one to three month old. So anyway, I hope that's helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>